In the tenderloins haste to be hilarious and bust each other's chops in stunts and punishments, the titular and practical jokers can get, well, carried away. The kooky antics of Q, Ma, Joe and Sal can, and do, veer into the unseemly, dangerous or even illegal, as these extreme examples demonstrate. A very special 2014 episode featured maybe the most extreme punishment yet, and one that would be hard to top, as it involved parties outside of the practical Joker's foursome, as well as the government and what's likely a great deal of paperwork. Jenna Volcano is a recurring Impractical Jokers cast member, showing up whenever her brother Sal needs to be made especially uncomfortable by his cronies. Her appearances usually involve staging some kind of intimate encounter with the three Jokers that aren't Sal. The third season finale, Brother and Lost, tops them all. Sal lost the episode, and for his punishment, he had to watch, alongside his family and friends, as Murr married Jenna. That's really going above and beyond, and the duo really did tie the knot, however briefly. In fact, following his matrimonial episode, Murr even tweeted, Yes, I legally married Sal's sister, no joke. And yes, we annulled the marriage after the honeymoon night. Dental procedures are among life's most unpleasant and potentially painful things. So even the idea of delving into that world as part of an otherwise innocuous and silly prank show feels a bit beyond the pale. And yet, on a 2014 episode of Impractical Jokers, the Tenderloins made Murr, a man purported to be their friend, submit to some unnecessary and deeply uncomfortable oral treatment for his punishment, having lost the episode. Because the dental aesthetic of Novocaine is a powerful numbing agent, it's inherently funny to listen to somebody try to use a mouth they cannot feel, not to mention try to eat food. Murr thus endured some Novocaine shots and then to talk about a variety of foods while also eating them. Braised beef. Braised beef. <laughs> is brilliant. Is braised braised beef is <laughs> <laughs> In short, he made a terrible mess. The bits had long-lasting implications for Murr, too. Responding to an Impractical Jokers fan on Twitter, Murr revealed that since the Novocaine-related punishment, he's now, quote, more sensitive to it, complicating future dental surgeries. Now that's suffering for one's art. The Permanent Punishment, the title of a 2014 Impractical Jokers episode, is also unfortunately for three Jokers a spoiler. In a prank involving attached balloons onto people just trying to grocery shop, Q, Murr, and Sal, in other words, everyone except Joe, fails and gets their punishment. For each guy, it's a possibly eternal reminder of that time they didn't succeed on their silly reality show, a tattoo. The Jokers go under the needle and ink to receive the worst and dumbest tattoos this side of Jackass. Q's consists of a cat, along with a caption, 30 Eight, lives alone, has three cats. That's mildly embarrassing, but not as ridiculous and pointless as Murr's sweet body art depicting a ferret skydiving. Again, that's funny and humiliating for Murr, but the hardest, weirdest, and silliest permanent ink of all went on to poor Sal. Because rules are rules and punishments must be accepted on Impractical Jokers, he got a thigh tattoo of musician, actor, and celebrity offspring Jaden Smith. And let's be honest, it's not even a particularly lifelike likeness of the rising star either. The impractical Joker who loses this 2015 episode is once again Sal, and his co-star selected a deceptively simple, though no less humiliating, punishment. The group heads to a New Jersey escape room called Exit Strategy, and makes Sal go through the experience, get locked in a room and solves riddles to get out with a group of strangers. But going through this mildly entertaining group outing is not the entirety of the punishment. Sal has to pee his pants while locked in a small, enclosed space with other people. Urinating on oneself falls well outside the box of what's considered normal and acceptable adult behavior. But Sal is faced with having to fake a bathroom emergency, then make the problem, well, rectify itself. He literally starts to sweat, and the others try to force his hand or bladder by playing running water sounds through his earpiece. Finally, Sal does what he has to do and urinates in full view of everyone in the the escape room, fully staining his lightly colored khakis. It so freaks out his unwitting escape room companions that some scream and some can't help but laugh. But he still can't get out of the room until a solution can be found, forcing pea-soaked Sal to work in close contact with these strangers. That was awesome. No, no. <laughs> Murr and Joe lost a 2014 Impractical Jokers episode, leaving them to a punishment called Strip High Five. Both would stand in New York City's Union Square and ask pedestrians for high fives. Every time they refuse, the Jokers must remove an article of clothing. 
and the punishment is over when one of them winds up completely naked. An on-screen graphic reveals that Sal and Q almost replaced the punishment because they thought getting high fives would be too easy for Mo and Joe, and thus nobody would get nude. At first, it looks like that instinct was correct, as the two easily get strangers to slap their palms. Then the goodwill of their fellow humans dry up, and both Mo and Joe are forced to remove more and more with Joe losing both his shirt and pants before his opponent. Adding insult to injury, Mur's discarded sweatshirt gets swiped by a rude stranger. Oh no! Oh Joe, Joe, Joe! This is a rough one! <laughs> the battle goes down to the wire, with both guys left in their underwear and Mur ultimately losing. It takes him a good three minutes to steal himself for the demeaning and illegal act of exposing himself in front of the gathered crowd. And that's when New York City police arrive and put an end to the shoot. They didn't arrest anybody, but they most certainly could have, as exposing one's private parts on the streets is quite illegal. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.